Hello friends, uh, welcome to this uh, CNC training class. Uh, today I would like to explain the CNC codes. So let me see. See here, we have one uh, program here. This program consists of number of words or uh, instructions. Out of these instructions, we have M codes also. First, today I would like to explain regarding the M codes. So, what are the codes? See here. Today, we will discuss about M03, M04 and M05. As you know already, M03 is spindle rotation in clockwise. For rotating the spindle, we have to give the command M03. And M04 is for spindle rotation counterclockwise. For rotating the workpiece in the reverse direction, we have to give the M04 in the program. In the same way, M05, this is a spindle rotation stop. So for stopping the program, for stopping the rotating workpiece or the spindle, we have to give the M05 in the program. Let me explain one by one here. See, M03 is spindle rotation clockwise. That means, so in CNC, CNC turning center, the workpiece will be held in the check. Okay, for rotating the workpiece, we have to give the M03 in the program. See friends, this M03 and M04 will decide only the direction of rotation of the workpiece. They decide only the direction. So for rotating at the required RPM, we have to program the program the yes followed by num some number also. So this M03 and M04 will decide whether it the job has to rotate in the clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. So if I write the M03 in the program followed by some uh, yes and number, then the workpiece will start to rotate in the clockwise direction. For milling operation also, when we give the M03 and uh, spindle speed uh, uh, program instructions, the workpiece will start to rotate in the clockwise direction. Okay. See here for M03. I have a program here. See here, this is for sending the workpiece to the home, to its home. And here, the workpiece will, uh, the cutting tool will change to the required number. And the work, see here, when the controller reads this block, the controller will rotate the workpiece in the clockwise at the RPM of 1000. Okay. And then, when the controller reads, the workpiece will move to the face of the workpiece. Assume this is the dia 40 workpiece. As soon as the controller reads this block, the cutting tool will move from its own position to the workpiece and then the plane turning operation will take place here and then it will go back to its safety position. See here, this is for M05. See, here the job is rotating at the 1000 RPM in the clockwise direction. When the controller reads this block, the rotating uh, the, the rotating workpiece will come to will stop. Okay. So as soon as it reads, the rotation of the workpiece will stop. See for uh, stopping the workpiece, we have the other uh, manual uh, switches also. But autom for at stopping the workpiece rotation automatically in the program, we have to give the M05. Okay. This is for you know already. Program end and rewind. This is about the M03 and we will move to the M04. See, M04 is for spindle start counterclockwise rotation. For rotating the workpiece in the reverse direction, we have to give the M04 in the program. See here, this is for homing and tool changing will take place. See, this is the uh, center tail zoom. At the station number 2, I fix the tool number uh, center drill bits for doing the center drilling operation. See, this is for M04. See, for uh, doing the plane turning, facing, threading and uh, growing like operations, we have to rotate the workpiece in the clockwise because the turret is there and the tool will be positioned to the behind of the workpiece. For that, we will always rotate the workpiece in the clockwise for turning operation or facing operation. If you want to do the drilling like operation, we have to rotate the workpiece in the reverse direction that is in the 
clockwise direction. For rotating the workpiece in the clockwise direction, we have to give the counterclockwise direction. Sorry, we have to give the M04 command. So when the controller reads this block, the workpiece will start to rotate in the opposite direction. See like this. So this is for M04 rotation. So when we program, when we write the program like this. The spindle will start to rotate in the counterclockwise direction at the RPM of 1200. And then the workpiece will move to, or the cutting tool will move to like this as soon as it reads this block. And then the uh, cutting tool will, will move to the center of the workpiece. And then this is for doing the center drilling operation. There is no pecking. So at a time, the cutting tool will or the central drill bit will move into the workpiece for the length of 8 mm and then it will come back to the safety position. So as soon as it reads M05, the rotating workpiece will stop and, and then the cutting tool will move to its own position. This is for program end and rewind. See this is about M03 for rotating the workpiece in the clockwise direction and M04 for rotating the workpiece in the counterclockwise direction, for stopping the workpiece, we have to give the M05 in the program. Okay, so for manually stopping, we have the other commands also here. So if you reset the rotate, reset the reset button at the uh, operator panel or machine control panel, the rotating spindle will stop. Okay, or else we can stop the spindle rotation by using this hard key also. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.